little magic trick. That's just funny. But what it do you to slash Patreon slash bit shoot today's video. I want to chime in with a quick, 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 quick impromptu video. Today's video, you know what I mean? I want to touch on, you know, various topics, you know, like I always do. But before I start this video, before I start the topic, uh, shout out to Hassan Campbell. I'm going to play a little snippet from Hassan Campbell. Last live stream he did about um, Drakeo, the ruler, the guy who got stabbed in his neck at the concert. He was saying some real shit. I mean, he always says some real shit. But he was saying some real shit in this particular live stream. So I'm going to play a couple of snippets for you. So check this out. Listen to this. According to Wikipedia, somebody will be facing. <laughs> Leopold II was the second king of the Belgians from 1865 to 1909 and through his own efforts, the owner and absolute ruler of the Congo Free State from 1885 to 1908. I guess the better question was how many black people was King Leopold murdered in the Congo? Here's a summary from Wikipedia. Under his regime, millions of Congolese people died. Modern estimates range from 1 million to 15 million. How Belgium cut off hands and arms and killing over 15 million Africans. Start reading. Y'all don't understand. We are living in the signs of the times. And black people better start understanding something. You have a sacred bloodline, especially here in America. You have a, it's like you are the king of Zamunda, but of America. You are, you are a sacred people in America, and your bloodline have to be erased to get rid of this, what is this so-called constitution? This, 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 this sovereign that you have, you're not black. You don't understand. There is a war on your DNA. There is a war on your DNA. This is why the shit that they're giving you is altering your DNA. Since birth, they were studying your DNA. Understand something. The crime rate gonna keep going up. The ignorance on the internet is gonna keep on being rewarded. The most ignorant rappers and the most ignorant people that you have ever seen. I mean, come on. Look at Young Thug. Look at that lost nigga. Running around with makeup on and, and, and skirts on and pocketbooks on. Look at look at Kodak Black. Alright. So that's all I wanted y'all to hear, right? Now I played that for y'all because I don't know Hassan Campbell personally. I don't know him. You know what I mean? But I, I've been watching his video since 2017. And it's just funny and ironic that the same stuff I'm talking about, he talking about the same stuff, just in a different way. Like I said, it's a bloodline war. Do you hear what he just said? That's why they giving you foods, not giving you, that's why they giving us foods to alter our DNA. He said, we are the kings and queens of Zamunda, especially here in America. Oh shit. But what he's saying is real talk. That's just, it's just real stuff. So let's get into the topic now. You know, um, just kind of piggy piggybacking off that video that I just played. Well, the snippet for y'all is so you gotta look at it like this, right? You have to, you have to break down your spirit. And rebuild it. Now let me now what does that mean? So think about it like this, right? Everybody in life has been through something. Everybody in life has been through something. Whether you're black, white, Hispanic, Latino, you know what I mean, Chinese, you know what I mean, South Korean, North Korean, whatever, whatever you is, whatever you is, right? That doesn't matter. Your creative nationality doesn't matter. 
just being a human being on this planet. You see what I'm saying? Everybody has been through something. I already told you, if you've been watching my channel, I already told you the stuff that I've been through. My spirit has been broken so many times and I never understood why I was being attacked this hard, you know, you know, being tortured at home, being tortured at school, you know, elementary school, not elementary school, middle school, high school, you know what I mean? Shit like that and a little bit of college because I've been to college before too, by the way, if you didn't know. But, um, but yeah, and I just never understood, like, why are these motherfuckers coming after me? Like, why are they coming after me? I don't do shit to nobody. So why is motherfuckers bothering me? I never understood it. It's because I had a powerful aura and a powerful spirit, even when I was unaware, when I was asleep, like asleep as in spiritually asleep. You know what I mean? And I understood the devil is going to try to break down your spirit, but you have to be able to um, see the wiles of the devil and counteract them, right? So, for example, Think about it like this. You got to look at your spirit as a muscle, a spiritual muscle. When you are a bodybuilder, right? Or you're a weightlifter or, you know, you do the deadlifts or whatever it's called, like the deadlifts or whatever. I think that's what it's called. <clears throat> you're lifting all them weights. <clears throat> you exercising and whatnot. In order for your muscles to get bigger, you have to break down your muscles. When you lift lifting weights, you have to break your muscles. That's what's happening. Your muscles is breaking apart. They're tearing apart. But this is natural. And then when your muscles get bigger, it's because it's, it's repairing itself. And then when you lift more weight, you're tearing that muscle apart again. And that's why you sore and all that stuff. And then once it starts to heal, you get bigger muscles because you're breaking that muscle down and it's repairing itself and it's getting stronger and stronger every time. That's the same thing you have to do with your spirit. Motherfuckers gonna try to break you down. Motherfuckers gonna try to say this. They gonna try to lie on you. They gonna put dirt on your name. Trust me, I've been through it all. You know what I mean? Motherfuckers gonna say whatever they gonna say to stop you, especially if you got power. They gonna do whatever they can to stop you. Trust me, I know this. They gonna do whatever they can. But if you have a strong spirit and you got tough skin, it is what it is. But those same demons don't know that if you know how to take that that pain and flip it around back onto them, they really uplifting you. You know what I mean? Because pain is nothing but weakness leaving the body. You see what I'm saying? So you have to remember that. Like, yeah, in order to be strong, you can't be strong if you've never been weak. You can't be weak if you've never been strong. You see what I'm saying? So it works in all different ways, all different aspects. You know what I mean? And the stuff I'm saying on here, it ain't no hate speech. It ain't going against people. I'm just speaking real facts, real historical facts. A lot of people don't like history because motherfuckers can't take the real facts, even if if it, if it is facts. Because like I said, history been tainted so many times and twisted and all this shit. You know what I mean? You have to really, really, really dig into this shit to really understand. But um, it's a spiritual war going on. For real. It's a spiritual war going on. Like, this spiritual warfare, this shit is so powerful that it's just like, like I said, you got demons in your face right now. You got angels in your face right now. They're not walking around. Ain't no angel walking around with no damn white robe and a halo on top of his head. You know what I mean? At least not in this realm. Angels, they come back looking like they come back looking like bums, so-called bums. They come looking like homeless people. They come looking all rough and rugged like me. You see what I'm saying? Like, I just need to shave and shit like that. But they come out looking all rough and rugged. And, you know, the average dummy, the average motherfucker who don't know shit, or the average judgmental motherfucker, because there's a lot of judgmental motherfuckers out here. The average judgmental motherfucker who the fuck is this? Ugh, get away from me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Whole time, that's a motherfucking angel coming to watch you. Coming to see how you treating people. Coming to see how you reacting to things. But then let a motherfucker come through. Clean cut, suit on and shit. Motherfucker got the hair slick back and all that shit. Motherfucking demon. Talking real nice to you. Giving you real nice game. You know what I mean? Telling you everything you want to hear. You get in the car with that motherfucker. You just got in the car with Satan. You see what I mean? See, Satan comes looking good. Satan could come looking like a woman. 
Satan could come looking like a man. Now remember, this is a spirit. These things are spirits. Angels are spirits. And they can come and manifest into embodiment of man. Because that's what the third dimension is. It's the physical reality. You know what I mean? It's mass. It's density. See that? That's density. That's mass. So basically, these are spirits. These spirits can manifest into a good-looking woman. I'm not saying all good-looking women are demons or devils. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying all good-looking men are demons or devils. I'm not saying that. Just saying you have to have a high level of discernment. But as time keeps going on, discernment starts to get washed away and shit because of all these 5G towers, all these frequencies, and just all this crazy bullshit that's um, happening. You know what I mean? All this stuff plays a part in that. But motherfuckers just judge you just off how you look. And don't get me wrong, of course, you want to know, like, who the fuck is this? Like, you, you know what I mean? You got to be on your P's and Q's. You know what I mean? You got to know who is this. You know what I mean? But I'm telling you, if you're spiritual and you, and you know what the fuck I'm talking about, you, you, you understand what I'm saying. Most of the time, angels, the spirit of an angel will manifest into, like, a homeless person. Not all the time, but 85% of the time, they'll manifest to a homeless person. They'll manifest into somebody that look rough and rugged. They'll manifest themselves into somebody like you just really wouldn't expect. Like, they look like an average, everyday person. The whole time, that's an angel or your guardian angel watching over you, and you treat them like shit, and you don't even know. Like I said, the same thing with the demons. You, like, if you're a man or something, you all over this woman. This is an example. You all over this woman, trying to chase this woman and all this shit. The whole time, that's a Jezebel spirit. You know what I mean? The whole time, that's a demon trying to lead you off your path of what you're supposed to be doing. And then vice versa. You know what I mean? If you're a woman, you're chasing a man. And this is an example. You know what I mean? you all over this guy. You know what I'm saying? you all... Oh, he look good. He got muscles. He this and that. He that. Then boom. You're going to see the devil come out. And don't get me wrong. Every human has a good and a bad side. Like, that's just duality. Up, down, left, right. Boy, girl. You see what I'm saying? So, everybody has a dark side and a light side. That's just reality. It's just, do you got control over your dark side? Do you got control over your light side? Do you have compassion in your heart? Or is your heart just frozen solid like ice? See, and with all this crazy shit going on with these people going to, like, India and shit, fucking with the black box, and going to Australia, fucking with these black boxes and shit like that, the Mecca, whatever they call it. No, I think it's, well, no, no, like Pandora's box, I think. They releasing demons and shit, digging up ancient grave sites and all that shit, releasing demons. That's why a lot of these, a lot of, like, like military and shit, and it's not like on no basic level shit. This is like special ops, Green Beret type shit. Motherfuckers on some black ops shit. Like they go into these countries, which is about like, I, I'm not sure exactly what the number is today, but I know from Professor Griff lectures back in the past, he said it's like what? It's either like 23 or 47 silent wars that's happening on the planet Earth right now and don't nobody know about them unless you're in that realm. So people going to different countries, especially like India, motherfucking um, Australia, motherfucking um, Vietnam, you know, shit, I'm just, just naming a few shit, Russia, you know, Italy, just different places. And they digging up these ancient grave sites, these ancient burials, and they releasing demons. And that's why a lot of this other shit is going on too. But if you got spiritual, you're not going to get what I'm saying. And if you do get what I'm saying and you're trying to go against it, it's because you took an oath to pledge allegiance to Satan. And, and John Ramirez, I was talking about this yesterday. John Ramirez, he's an ex-Satanist. You can look him up on YouTube. He talks about it. That um, when people say they sold their soul to the devil, no, that's an illusion from the devil. You don't sell your soul to the devil. You sell your allegiance and you sell your time to the devil. The devil makes you think you sold your soul. So you he think, so people think that they can never get out of that dark space. But really, you can if you find, you know, the power of Jesus Christ or Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, which is the Paleo-Hebrew way of saying Jesus Christ. You know what I mean? You, you can really find the light because there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. That's just the 
the deception of Satan and his demons. You, you see what I'm saying? So this is the spiritual warfare. They releasing all these demonic spirits, all this 5G shit, all this different shit is connected. I'm trying to tell you, it's connected. But like I said, if you're going against the shit I'm saying, because you already sold your allegiance to the devil, or you just blind and don't really know nothing. But motherfuckers that's on the same side as me represent the light, you know what I mean, the angelic side, then you wouldn't get it. You would be like, I, I get exactly what he's saying. I know what he's saying is the truth. I'm speaking from the soul. I'm speaking from the spirit. And a lot of this stuff, I'm mixing it with real life stuff, and I'm mixing this shit with spiritual shit. You know what I mean? So if you resonate with the message, you resonate with it. If you don't, you don't. Go watch Disney Channel. It's not the end of the world yet.